How you guys doing? Welcome back to Tuna Tech. Today, we're going to switch gears a little bit. I've been covering some wise products, smart home products, but today, I'm going to switch gears back to the mobile cell phone market. There's been a lot of hubbub, yes I said hubbub, about the iPhone 13, the iPhone 13 Pro, and the Pro Max. We all know Apple's a large manufacturer of phones, and they are popular phones, so they get a lot of attention. In the Android space, it's usually your, Google, or your, your Googles and your Samsungs. But there's one company that's been making phones, and while most companies tend to copy each other, this company has tended to keep and even keel on what they perceive is the perfect phone. So let's find out what I'm talking about. Today, we're talking about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. So this is a phone that came out, was announced back in April of 2021. It's been kind of a tough buy in the United States I think it retails for somewhere around $1,400 or $1,300, something like that. Pretty exorbitant price. Something even more expensive than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Uh, close to the folding phones of Samsung. But Sony does sell something. Now, it's a phone. And as you can tell, the box is pretty beat up. Um, <laughs> it's not in the best of shape. But as you can see, this is the US version and it's dual SIM frosted black. They had some other colors, like I want to say a purple maybe. It's some interesting colors, but you know, by region, it depends on what you got. So let's go ahead and just open this up and see what's inside. I have not turned this on. I have not seen what it's all about, um, but we'll go over the specs real quick. I want to kind of open it up in typical fashion. There is Samsung putting it in a bag. You know, whatever, toss it to the side. And then you have the frosted black. It's a matte black finish, so it should should not show as many um, smudges and fingerprints. You got your finger, your camera sensors, and just to go over it right now. Uh, the cameras are it's a quad camera array. Your main camera is a 12 megapixel with optical image stabilization. It's got a 1.7 aperture. Your second camera is a 12 megapixel telephoto lens, and it's got optical image stabilization and it's an optical zoom of about 3.0 and an aperture size of 2.3 the third camera is a 12 megapixel ultra wide and it's got an aperture of f 2.2 the fourth camera is your time of flight 3d sensing you know the pretty typical stuff for android phones um, some other features it has um, oh, an optical image stabilization hdr Continuous autofocus, face detection, which Sony uh, mirrorless cameras are synonymous for. They're supposed to be pretty good on this phone too. And then the front camera is an 8 megapixel with electric image stabilization in the HDR, and it's underneath all this. So that's the back. On the bottom, you've got your antenna lines, the USB Type C mic. You got your um, looks like your SIM ejection. And what's cool about Samsung or Samsung <laughs> Sony is their SIM trays can be removed with a fingernail. You don't need a SIM ejection tool, okay? Which is always nice in a pinch, especially with someone like me who uses a lot of phones. It's got the antiquated headphone jack. God forbid they still include those. And then you've got your dedicated shutter button for the camera. You got a, a I believe it's a programmable button for like the assistant or whatever you want. You've got your fingerprint sensor power button and your volume rock. Okay, that's pretty much it. We'll peel this off and that reveals the display. Now, you're wondering, okay, so the cameras, it's a, it's, a Sam, it's a Sony, it should have good cameras. What about the screen? This is a 6.5 inch, 3840 by 1644 pixel, 21 by nine aspect ratio. It's a 4K display with 120 Hertz and it's got a 643 PPI. That is crisp. I'm excited to see this. Sony has been synonymous for 4K 120 or 4K screens on their 
Xperia line in the past, so this should be no different. Um, so that's the screen. We talked about the cameras. So what about the hardware as we kind of rotate this around? It's got a Qualcomm 888, the 888, typical flagship, although the next one's coming out somewhat shortly. It's got 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. It does have micro SD slot for storage, which is a very a big rarity for the most part among phone companies now. It comes with Android 11. It's got a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. Kind of small, but especially with a 4K screen at 120 hertz, so the battery life may be meh, but I'm not gonna jump to conclusions yet. It does support wireless charging and reverse charging, and it does wired 30 watt charging, so if you wanna pair a little bit with other companies, you got your usual books, you got your tray, and it does come with a charger in the box. So again, Sony's, I guess you could say, bucking the trend and including, you guessed it, headphone jack and a charger. So, you know, the phone on paper seems pretty good. Uh, it is IP6568 rated. It's got fingerprint, you know, sensors on the side. It does come, like I said, in black, gray, and purple. I think that's pretty similar to the Xperia uh, 1 Mark II from last year, which I did have as well. But besides that, everything else seems pretty normal uh, when it comes to specs. What Sony separates from Sony is their, is their squared off kind of sides and their, tw their high or you know, long and thin 21.9 aspect ratio. 4K screens. Again, it was released in April or announced in April. I don't think it came out to here until like July, I want to say. And even if you try to order today, a lot of places don't have them in stock. Um, and it retails for about $1,300. When they first came out, it did. they did include either their XM3 over-the-ear headphones or the X3 in-ear, but I don't know, 1000 XF and XM. Basically earbuds or over-the-ear headphones. Uh, last year's model that were very well received now they have the fours and both out now so this has been a quick unboxing of the Sony Xperia 1 mark 3 leave a comment if you'd like to have more information on this it's not a widely covered phone and it's been out for about a month so again thanks for watching we'll catch you next time